Hello everybody, Stallion Zansom Jackboy here, and today I'm bringing you guys a very special tutorial slash Easter egg video. Um, I don't know if Gearbox meant to put this in the game, but I'm going to be showing you guys there's these hidden rack hives that you can find out in the Borderlands, out in I think every single area if you if you look carefully. Um, and you might need to glitch out of the map, but in every I think in every single area in Borderlands there's hidden rack hives, and this is one of them. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually uh, start this easter egg off alrighty guys so what you want to do in order to start off this easter egg this is the first step and basically I think one of the only steps the most important step too obviously is you want to fast travel to the uh, trash coast you want to go kill rack hive so as you can see here you want to if you guys don't know where to actually go to kill rack hive is right there in the map so you want to be far enough in the storyline he's one of the main bosses in the game so you want to go here and you want to go kill rack hive so I kind of skip forward skip the battle but anyway, like I said, this is the first step, most important step. In order to get these hidden Rack Hive Easter eggs to spawn, you have to kill Rack Hive, I believe. Now, remember this, okay, guys? This is really important. Do not save and quit after you kill Rack Hive. If you save and quit, it will wreck the whole Easter egg. You will not be able to uh, find and see these hidden dead Rack Hives. Because that, that's what I think they are. They're hidden dead Rack Hives. They're like, just like this one, outside of all the maps in the Borderlands. So it's really, really weird, guys. If you save and quit, it will mess it all up. And in order to make them spawn, you have to actually come here and kill Rack Hive. So that's how it works. It's really, really weird, but it's a really, really cool Easter egg. So um, right now I'm going to be showing you guys where you can actually see a couple of these uh, dead Rack Hives in just a few areas. So I'm going to show that right now. Okay, guys, so this is one of the more well-known places where you can see the dead Rack Hives uh, in the Iridium Promontory. So what you want to do is you want to go over here. Uh, on the map, it's kind of right before you go into the vault. Uh, there's a little cliff over here. Um, so you want to go over there in the Iridium Promontory, and bam, look at this, guys. There is a hidden dead rack hive just out of the map, way down there. It looks like it's kind of sitting on the mountain, but it's not. It's just floating in there. If you move left and right, you can kind of see it's floating in the air. Now, it's really, really weird, guys. I, I just think this is the most coolest Easter egg. I don't know. Basically, when you do this, when you kill rack hive, and you don't save and quit, uh, you can literally just, there's, there's an easter egg in every single area in Borderlands 1. Even if that area doesn't have an easter egg, let's say, I don't know, uh, what's a place that doesn't have an easter egg? Uh, Crazy Earl Scrapyard, does that have, well yeah it does, that's scrappy. Uh, I don't know, let, let, can't really think of any right now. I mean, one of my, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys in a minute, one, one of the places is actually Circle of Duty, where there's Circle of Duty, okay, that's a Nox DLC where you can see one of these bad boys, I'll show you guys in a second, but, yeah, that's one of the places, there's not really any Easter eggs there, so it basically adds an Easter egg to every single area in Borderlands, very, very cool, so anyway, moving on to the next place where you can see one of these beasts. Alrighty guys, now this one actually took me by surprise. I was actually on my way to the Circle of Duty to show you guys that Rack Hive uh, Easter Egg, but there's actually one in the Ridgeway. I was just driving along, and bam, I looked to the right and I, s I spotted out of the corner of my eye another dead Rack Hive. It's floating off into the distance. Now this this is in the Ridgeway in the Secret Army General Knox DLC. Just keep going through the DLC, you'll eventually get to this area. Pretty straightforward, but I was just driving along. I was in this land space. I showed you guys on the map, and this place is really cool, guys. I, uh, if you guys know of a glitch or an Easter egg, you probably yeah, a glitch, not an Easter egg, on how to get out of the map on this place. Now, though, I did look up a couple, but there, I think they require two players to do it. But if there's a way to get down to the bottom of this canyon, I'm looking in right now where this rack hive is floating above. Uh, I would actually like to know guys because it would be really cool to glitch down there and just have some fun exploring down there I mean, it's really far away. It would be just oh man. This place is just really cool to me guys But anyway, there's the dead rack. I have really really interesting. Now I'm gonna show you guys the one in the circle of duty Okay now guys right here. This is just uh, if you guys don't know where the circle of duty is I you just want to keep going uh, through the ridgeway uh, and you want to go into the sunken sea, and uh, the circle of duty is at the very top of the map, like I just showed you right there. So it's kind of off the side of the road too. You just want to kind of go up here. There's an arrow pointing to where you got to go. Just get out of your car, and bam, circle of duty. Now, in order to get the circle of duty quest and to go into this arena, you actually have to beat the the DLC, right? Secret Army General Knox DLC. Once again, this is actually in that DLC. So, but yeah, you want to you want to beat the DLC, and I think the the quest pops up on the bounty board in T-Bone Junction. But anyway, you want to go over here into the circle of duty and you want to go off and look off the edge and BAM! BAM! Okay, another dead rack hive. Okay, another one. Now, <laughs> this is all the dead rack hives I went and looked for. Um, I know there, I think online someone um, was actually 
saying, I'm not sure where this was, I think it was on some thread, there was actually someone that found one in the, uh, not the Iridium Promontory, that, uh, I can't even remember now the name of it, that arena, that's kind of like that Iridian arena, PvP arena, I don't remember what that is called right now, but there's one in there, oh yeah, the Devil's Footstool, there's one in there, you have to go into the arena, so you have to have multiple, multiple players, I was going to re go record that one, but, uh, you have to have multiple players, and you go in the arena, and uh, off the edge somewhere there you can see one of these uh, dead rack hives but anyway that that's basically it guys it's a really really cool easter egg I want you guys to actually go out there and find these and uh, if you find any new ones that I have not found yet like I said you might need to glitch out of the map I, was tr I tried to look in sunken sea while I was there to see if I could find one because there's many uh, many edges and cliffs you can look off of um, but I didn't see one it might be in a, some sort of rock so you might have to glitch out of the map in some places but if you guys find one that I haven't found yet or in an area that I didn't show here uh, send me a picture on Twitter send me something PM me a picture or a little clip or something and uh, just kinda show me and uh, I'll retweet it if it's on Twitter because I wanna know I wanna know some of these uh, other hidden rack hives maybe directions if you want guys but yeah that's basically it I hope you guys enjoyed this video I just I love this Easter egg it's not very well known on the internet I wanted to get this out there in a video uh, in video form so yeah, it's basically it, guys. I'm out of here. Peace!